All right guys so we just got a brand new update in dragon ball legends and i am not gonna lie to you guys i am in utter shock on how many crystals we can farm as a free to play player completely free to play guys within this brand new update nearly five thousand, and that is amazing i do this every single wednesday we rarely see this feature so i mean as of late actually um during my wednesday videos of my uh chrono crystals counter guides We've nearly exceeded 5,000 a few times, guys. That's basically 20,000 crystals a month, okay? So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best way to get crystals, the most efficient way, where to get them, how to get them, all within this brand new update. But most importantly, guys, save, okay? The six-year anniversary is legitimately two months away. So it's going to be the end of May, June, and July. If you guys are not prepared today, you guys will get punished tomorrow, okay? Especially if you guys are free to play. So let's get into it. And by the way, if you guys do enjoy the video, if you guys want to keep getting updated here, everything Dragon Ball Legends, just simply like and subscribe and have those notifications on and I'll get you guys covered here, um, you know, 24 seven, everything Dragon Ball Legends. So let's get into it. We got my calculator right there to the left-hand side. Now we are gonna be starting off with two login bonuses, very simple stuff um, over, you know, the weekend. If you guys log in um, on the last day, we can collect 100 Chrono Crystals. So let's book that in. Also, um, if you guys log in daily, if you guys choose the Chrono Crystals every single day per week, that is 10 times 7, which is 70 Chrono Crystals. And we're going to be booking that in. Also, by the way, guys, if you check your gift box, we got, I was like, what is this? I forgot that the Breakers did a Season 5 launch campaign over on Twitter or X. And it included like, you know, Dokkan, Legends and stuff like that, Xenoverse. So we ended up getting 100 crystals off of that. So that's actually pretty nice to see. So we're definitely going to be booking that in. And I am going to collect this real quick. Okay, cool. Um, we also got a brand new raid, which I'm actually very shocked we got the raid. Honestly, like um, usually they take a long time to bring raids out. And surprisingly speaking, we got technically two raids here back to back. Um, of course, this one goes away today, but still, it's pretty nice to see that they're bringing out the raid more frequently. Um, I think it's supposed to be a staple pretty much every single big celebration. So here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, first time rewards, 10 crystals, you know, and then all the challenges here, as well as 1,000 crystals from the, um, from the shop, which is uh, right over here. Uh, basically, that's 1,031 crystals to be exact. So let's book in 1,031, <clears throat> okay? And we are at 1301. Okay, so 1,301 crystals. Um, next up, we also got the TOP season that got reset, Terminal Power season. Here, if you guys did not know, on the final stage, you get rewards. Um, obviously, you know, uh, 300, as well as a few from the missions, from the group stages, as well as from ranking top, I don't know, like it's a certain amount. You guys can achieve up to 1,500 free to play crystals, which is great. Um, I hate this mode so much, I'm not gonna lie, but. 1,500 crystals. It's, I mean, it's pretty hard to argue against 1,500 crystals. It's a lot, right? It's probably one of the best events, honestly, in terms of crystals. So that's 2,800 crystals, 2,801 to be exact. Um, a few more things here, guys. We also got a few new missions, such as the Lumi Nemesis campaign. If we just go here, that's 150. So let's book in 150. Also, brand new adventures. Uh, which is only 50 so i mean we calculate absolutely everything here on the channel so we exceeded the 3000 mark pretty good start so far but we still got a few more things to cover uh such as battle royale so this battle royale is actually quite interesting guys because it's um it's very broad it comes out tomorrow night and you would think it'd be like a powerful opponent one which i still think we're going to get one in two weeks but this one in specific is just catered towards sparking characters so no extremes, no heroes, obviously, and then no ultras. So no ultra Gohan, no ultra Janimba, no ultra UI Goku, which is pretty nice to see a good change of pace. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's still a lot of good teams, obviously, like uh, Super 17 is probably going to get used alongside, um, you know, Androids. I think that's probably going to be the best team. It's pretty much just a normal PvP season, right? But yeah, here we can get 300 crystals and uh, actually hold up what's the rules heavy and super heavy attacks occur based on arts boosts wait wasn't it already based on arts boosts i'm confused um anyways but yeah we're gonna get that as well as what's what's the pvp message oh this trunks one you're not who you are that's funny 
But anyways, uh, so we have that. Also, if we head back to the missions, we got the weekly stamps. If you guys didn't know, every single two weeks for the weekly stamps for completing your daily missions, we can get uh, 1,000 crystals. Some weeks more, some weeks less. But on average, if we cut that in half, it's 500 per week, which is pretty good. So let's book in 500 crystals right there. Okay, so we're at 3,801. Pretty good. Um, also, the Battle Lovers plan, the premium plan, resets right now. Um, this upcoming week, so within this week, uh, weekly reset, right? Um, and here, if you guys choose the Battle Lovers plan as a completely free-to-play player, that is 500 crystals up for grabs. So we're going to be booking in 500, completely free-to-play, by the way. Um, if you guys choose to pay the uh, the premium plan, that's 1,500, which is very, very good. It's like triple the amount. Uh, but 4,300 so far is a great feature. Um, also, brand new story mode, okay? So, new story mode is sometimes, depending on... I haven't played it yet, which I'm dying to play to catch up with the story. Um, but on average, it's anywhere from 200 to 250. So, let's just round it up to 250 really quick. And we're at 4,551. Now, final thing here, guys. We also do have the Let's Fight, which gives us crystals for leveling up our friendship rank. If we do this three times, pretty much just three times a week, um, or three times a day for a week, on average, that's anywhere from, um, depending on your friendship rank, that's anywhere from like 150 to 200 max. So we're just going to round it up to 200. It's not a big deal. And we are at a grand total of 4,751. That is really good, man. If we just get this every single week, I would be completely happy. Um, let's just, hypothetically speaking, let's just times this by four, which is a month, right? Let's just say that. That's 19,000 crystals a month, guys. That is phenomenal. Completely free to play. Uh, I, I would say Dragon Ball Legends does have its... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Does have its moments where they decide to make things tough to get crystals. But as of late, we've been getting really, really blessed with crystals. I mean, if you guys follow along with me on my channel every single Wednesday... We've been getting some pretty good Chrono Crystals counter guides here every single Wednesday. Nearly 5,000 or anything above 4,000 really is pretty good. Um, but just to note really quick, guys, before every single big celebration, we do get a crystal nerf. Just so when, like, for example, the anniversaries right now, the 6th anniversary May. So the beginning of May, expect a nerf. And then once the anniversary launches, expect a great increase in crystals. Like probably like they're just going to drop an announcement for like 10 to 15,000 crystals for the sixth anniversary, which is really crazy. So, and I'll make a guide for that as well. But, uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. The, um, I mean, don't forget May, June, and July, three months, the anniversary. And we only got, let's just say an ultra at the end of the month right now. And then April, and that's it. That's all we have. So if you guys can survive all these bait banners, um, they might bring back ultra UI Goku to try to bait you. Perhaps maybe beast Gohan, Goku and Bardock might come back as well for games original because a lot of people are predicting Games Original to be part of the 6th year anniversary, which is a really broad tag because there's so much they could do with that, especially Fusion uh, Shallot. They could do a tag Giblet and Shallot to fuse into Shallot. They could do a lot of fun stuff with that tag for sure. So very excited for the 6th anniversary, guys. But if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again a bit later for another one. Have a good one. Peace.